almost it's almost like in the same place if it were a body that the heart would be art and music and you know pr production and people are just doing like we're not waiting for like investors to come in all right all right all right all right cut the side convo Whatever. this is episode 188 and we got Vice Lord Dave <laughs> in the building. <laughs> what up, my boy? Oh, the wheel to all the modes, man. We all good, man. I don't want no problems, bro. I'm saying, no that's problems. good to the folks. Y'all ain't breaking everybody. We hey, good. Hey. Fresh, fresh, not even fresh off of tour. Still on tour, man. He's still, still on road, baby. Still want to pull up, man. I appreciate that boy it, man. on IR right now. He's best stop playing with everybody. Got on his boots. Boy, I whipped my foot up, but I was standing on too much business, so it's good. Uh, uh, how long you work on that job? <laughs> I said I thought about it on the way here. I'm oh, nice, lie. nice. That's fresh. I the, like my that. foot just broke, so I'm what still pulling actually up. What happened the to your foot? I fell. The story? Nope. Yeah, come yeah, on. I heard you fell. Let's get the truth. I heard you fell. I fell. You fell How did love. you fall? I was, I was walking mm -hmm. with some heavy shit in my hand down a ramp, and the momentum fucked me up. Man. Oh, that broke. momentum. That's what we're going with. That's my story. I heard his footage out there, bro. <laughs> it's, it's footage. Hey, footage out there. It's definitely footage. <laughs> hit you with the sham guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. I'm telling you, somebody hit me with a sham guy or any crossover. Is we it fighting. broken? <laughs> it's, a, it's a mouth fracture. Oh, wait, you going to give him a right hook? Right, left, <laughs> uppercut, uh, 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 kick to the shin. Like, it's it's, it's equal violence. rights and equal lefts. <laughs> I still got to get an MRI done and see if anything is torn. Oh, though, I'm so, so sorry. Speed recovery, ass. brother. Joke, joke aside, speed recovery, man. I appreciate it. How you get them tight ass pants on there? Uh, you got to put them on first. That's the point. And then you can I'm saying you got to flex the foot. Does somebody help? There you go, Kevin. No, they stretch. <laughs> stretch. <laughs> Niggas. See, they stretch. See, okay, all right. So we had a. You, you, you see this, all right? You see this? Just say, there you go. Those are stretch. No, those are stretch. It's no stretch. <laughs> this we, stretch, no, no, stretch. That's all skin. I committed to this shit, though. Committed. I had to yes. jump to get hey, man, these bitches. these are adaptable pants. You got to get the stretch in case you might gain a little weight. You might lose a little. You know what I'm saying? So you can, you keep it for a while. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your generation. Multi purpose. <laughs> that's yeah. your generation. I grew up around the jerkers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the previous conversation, I don't know where to go. I'm going to just follow yeah, It was a yeah, dance you know back in my day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the Urkin. Man, man, man. Man. Not the Urkin jerk. jerk. That's, That's a different thing. Am I in that a drink? No. no it was called the jerk. It was like, I'm not getting jerk. it. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerk. Wait, wait, we were talking though, so. You had jerk parties in the hallway. You That's got, wild. You have a previous <laughs> life inside of a, a dance establishment. You know, a man coming oh in there too. So I asked her. Patrons. Patrons. There's no beating your dick in the club, okay? But oh, I'm yeah, so I no. asked if somebody paid a particular girl to beat their dick to them, would they let them beat their dick to them? <laughs> you can't do that in the club, though. Now, you, for the right price, everything has a price. Now. I mean, you're uh, with uh, a price right now. Room. If if security, the, the room has to be there. Like lots of things are for sale at the strip club, and each 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 independent contractor. <laughs> Can I can I just pay for one titty? One, you know what I'm saying? Like we talk about one. beating your dick, bro. Fuck a titty. I mean, Fuck a titty. No literally. Like, Why y'all talking about beating like, dicks? No touch. Because you, you got perverts. You missed the you, no touch. You missed the whole. He didn't. He didn't. There's some, cool there's right some clubs where it is <laughs> uh, partial contact, full contact, partial <laughs> nudity, full nudity. Seven it depends seven. on the county. <laughs> you got the shoe seven. models where nothing can come off, and so they're just like in swimsuits or like a. Who paying for that? Are you employed in Chicago? It totally Cook County. Yes. Um, Don't ask no further questions. <laughs> <laughs> we, in, we in court right now. Huh? <laughs> right. Like, when, when, when you were stripping, you break it down by county. That's crazy, yo. Like, definitely in that bag. I don't even know any other counties outside of Cook. You know what I'm saying? It's 102 counties in this state, man. <laughs> Give me another county. Will County, Kane County, Clay County. All I got is Will County. That's all I got. LaSalle County. Okay, no, those are college towns. <laughs> those are That's only because of jail. That's the only way I... <laughs> DeKalb County. Okay, got you. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I know some people. Hey, uh, I, I low-key got lost bringing Landon back from his, uh, Xavier, and Ooh. my GPS was like, go straight. And then the next thing you know, it was cop cars behind me. Like, ma'am... You are on federal property. This is a prison. And I was like, oh. Yo, oh, GPS shit. sent you off. Where are y'all lights at, though? You turn the lights off when the when it's you lights You need to get up? your GPA fixed. Sundown town. My GPA fixed or my GPS? GPA, GPS. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> the G is on the door. Anything GP, Gary Payton. Okay. Game point. All right, let's move on. General, general principle. All right. Let's move get on. Get this shit in order. That's all, that's all right. It's a general principle I got a new or phone. general purpose? General principle. From, from, from where I'm from. GP, general yeah. principle. Oh, on GP. Our age range. Oh, that's GP. what that means. Yeah. I never knew. I just said GP. So I asked principle. a while ago and I got different Well, Gary Payton. So like, huh, Gary Payton. <laughs> Who says GP to me, Gary Payton? I guess it's relative. It is relative. What does he do? Play basketball. Oh, I thought it was baseball. All-star. You tell you thought it was baseball. I know the Suns. That's a star. Glove nickname. Mm, the Suns not a star. It no, is a star. <laughs> Astrology. You, we're yeah. talking. 
The sun is not a big old star. You said GP. Hey, she flipped it on your ass, bro. Quick. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. You start? I don't like it. I don't like it. Take me. I said, oh. Okay, all right. Well, fuck it in, man. Speaking of counties, guess what? This is episode 188, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have time for, for weekly updates. That's um, a every, lie. Everybody's here. No, we don't, right? Because I want to make sure that everything's captured today, uh, content-wise. Um, and you know, <laughs> well, you know so, what? Screw you. My week was amazing. All right, great. We'll talk about it after, after the show. <laughs> I made some good purchases this week. Cool. Yeah, great. I'm great. Go. Right, more right. tight pants. All right, quick, quick, you. I broke my foot this week. That's awesome. I got a billboard this week. <laughs> you did. I'm having a great week. You even better. For the win. How was your week? Awesome. Okay, cool. Sure. I was a part of it, Just so like it's you. always awesome. What you do? Uh, don't don't do me. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Hey, look, look, no, no. Shout, shout out, shout out to um, the event at uh, Dusavo. We will be on stage with Changing TV. Faces. And buy uh, your ticket. Shout out to Knowledge Beckham putting this on. Shout out to Cosign. We appreciate you. Uh, oh, shout right, out to everybody right. on the bill. That shit's going to be crazy. It's going to be great. Uh, y'all, y'all tap in immediately, yeah, immediately, immediately, immediately. No offense to nobody. Hanging out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they over here just having side conversation. You ain't going to check that? Go ahead, go ahead and check. I, I, I give you the autonomy. <laughs> autonomy. I, 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 put, I put extra I'm tea the, in that bitch. I'm the guest in the house, so you got to reprimand. No, you, no, like no. The, you like the cousin that come over and can't get in trouble. No, no. Right. Hey, but, so, well, just, but once you're here once, like, yeah, yeah, no yeah, one's yeah. fixing you any drinks. Like, go in the yeah. refrigerator. Like, it's fine. It is your second time, Dave. I'll be on my best behavior. Cool. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll be on my best behavior. And don't nobody care about your fucking foot. Your fuck all that, bro. Wow. I, I went to Burlington, bro, and bought four pair of tight ass pants. Where's your Burlington I'll tell you something. These motherfucking pants are so tight that I envision myself walking through the gym, working out, and bitches cat called me like, damn, look at Buddy. He don't miss leg they do Look at that wag Damn, and little daddy. Did you, you know have to do like a little jump to get They was objectifying me. Shout out episode 186. <laughs> you had to do like a little, a little side jump to get that crazy. Hey, hey, dog. And then you I had to step out the rally like, I ain't bought these pants yet. I went to the restaurant, bro, purchased them bitches, and went home and tried them on. I was happy. I you said, you know what? You These hoes are gym in trouble. Do you jump? He jumped. Yeah, are you a jumper in the jeans? Yeah, he jumped. Absolutely. If okay. I see my man jump in there, <laughs> you, 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 you gotta twerk to get your jeans. You, you got too, you're going too far. <laughs> you're going too far. Uh, you basically twerk. We ain't leaving the house. Hey, when you, you, when you fuck a missionary, you basically twerk. Come here, Poppy. Twerk on my ass. <laughs> when you fuck missionary, you twerking, bro. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> it is a little. Uh, you definitely gotta twerk your best too. Like. I don't know how you fuck, bro. Like a robot. <laughs> he be sliding. <laughs> he did a little scoot. <laughs> <shit. laughs> wow, you touchy rolling in the pussy there. What is it? <laughs> we do like a little bit of movement. Yeah, man, man. He is doing touchy roll. Right. Yeah. <laughs> man, what we gonna do? <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Yeah. Hey, man, you gotta twerk, twerk a little. Shout, shout out to my sweatpants. Man. Fuck All right, that. Man. All right. We haven't seen a mom wear jeans in for never. Yeah. For yes. what? <laughs> I do what's comfortable for me. One day, bro, you'll get kidnapped. And you'll come back with all tight clothes, bro. You can get a daddy makeover. Watch. <laughs> he got pop, all pop he got all elastic. Him being kidnapped is crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, anyway. Uh, this podcast mind napped, mind for napped. Chicago by hey, Chicago, man. We like to start in Chicago Snickers, my and then work our way out. Mm-hmm. And what up, Cole Snickers? You know, let's uh, let's start here. Let's start here. Um, actually, you know what, <laughs> Dave? Before before we get into that, um, announce your tour. Where you at? And then we are gonna get into the shits because you're here for a reason. I mean, you know, I'm here because I just like hanging out, man. Oh, that's what's up. Fuck the tour, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying you see us on the social that. media for you know sure. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, shit. You know, we might have to get you on some paperwork, brother. Show up, show up on a regular if you if you really. Really about that life. I need, I need to see the contract Paperwork. And, and have my Jewish lawyer read over it. <laughs> no, you, know? you, you see, you got, you got to put just together our friends oh. on paper. That I can't trust him yet. <laughs> <laughs> can't trust stretchy pants, man. You no, sir. Uh, you this no is the most trustworthy pants you can find. <laughs> you can trust them pants, though. Yeah, <laughs> will not let you down. Okay, that's it. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we got we got an attorney in Chicago. She's been killing the game, I, and I don't, I want to get her name correct. Sierra Norris. Sierra Esquire. Norris. So uh, viral clip, <laughs> viral cool. viral clip is going is going crazy right now. She's coming out of the courthouse, rapping some singing glow, yeah glow glow, 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 glow shit, right? I like that. Yeah, song. glow. And I'm not mad at it, <laughs> yeah, right? Glow. She's the best at what she does. She's using social media to her advantage, uh, and she's she's helping these young brothers get on or out of jail. Excuse me, right? Uh, get out she's of jail. A defense attorney. <laughs> she, she, Allegedly, she, she, she is a defense attorney. Now there there is a part of part of that that I don't like. Like okay, mm, so she twelve. Okay. Um, 
You, know, they, they, you they, don't like criminals having adequate representation? What you just alleged criminal? Alleged Allegedly criminal. Adequate. Right? Okay, now you got you got Allegedly first. Adequate. <laughs> this is Chicago. Let me be clear. So I'm not mad if you carry Chicago, your banger with you. Con <laughs> concealed or not, right? If you're legal or not, I get it. I do understand that. But I think she's found a space to thrive in, and I don't think she's doing anything wrong. I don't think there's nothing wrong with her shining on, on, on Facebook. On IG, on, on everywhere. Did people say she was doing something wrong? What, oh yeah, it? yeah. People was hating. Was she what, what you mean? Hating on what? Is she from the crib? She's from the crib. Oh, like that. So when She's I when I see crib. when I see uh, women and like women professionals, I see her. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's how women from the crib are. Like very, um, we. How do I say this? Uh, we fly. Brash. We're very intelligent, and we st but we still from the crib. And you, there's a certain type of woman. When I looked at her page, I was like, oh yeah, I like her. I like anybody who can work in that space and still be normal as fuck when she walk in the room. Mm -hmm. That's important to me. What's normal? Someone that I can identify with. How old of, is she? Y'all saw her web? Like I saw her website? I would, yeah. I would give her 30. 30-ish. 30. Oh, so she's young. Yeah. Okay, but well, if I'm this ain't really the most Chicago man. looking website though. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like <laughs> yeah, that's how my website looks. Like from the, <laughs> from the crib, we know who we rock with. Very like, simple. We know who the homies okay, are. so before we shit on it, can, can we? Are, are there any kudos to give? Um, kudos. so I I love it's I love month. I love it's the way month for sure. There you go. I, I love the way that she presents um like uh for uh, like attorneys for our people because we do get out litigated. The niggas. Mm -hmm. Um, I think uh, maybe like 5% of defense attorneys in America are African-American, uh, which is a small amount. We're like 13%. So relative to the percent of us in in the nation, we don't have the no, number no, of lawyers that we should actually have. Um, she's young. Um, and I love that, you know, she says, we don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk with you. Um, <laughs> and it is advocacy. I think that she's doing a great job with marketing because what other lawyers have we seen you know, like Learner and Row that pops up on our, mm. you know, our television. Top dog law. Top, Top dog, dog. Top right. Dog. Or, 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 or trash He's ass uh, Jeffrey Levin, Father's Right. right. <laughs> when when right. has there Ain't been no a shit. woman or a black person that we can remember that's a lawyer here at the crib? Did you get extra credit for that or something? No, I'm saying just like period. Like she's. Yes, she's, I know. I I, I've, I've not, I've not seen like an ad is. or anything that I can remember. So like she's memorable. So now it's like we're talking about her. How many defense attorneys are in our network? I like it. Hey, I don't know if I want my uh, lawyer with an Instagram though. I hear you personally. Like I just Thank I feel you. like certain like I don't know, like <clears throat> pastors having Instagrams, uh, politicians having Instagrams, hmm. uh, attorneys. Like I feel what's like the certain, problem with it? Uh, well, what's the problem you see with it? I feel like on social media, like we all trying to build a platform, and at some point. You mm. probably gonna say something for the algorithm, and at that point, I feel like uh, certain I jobs shouldn't be uh, just doing stuff for the algorithm. If that makes sense, like no. we we're creative, so like we're trying to garner uh, uh, an audience like for our art. But like, if you are say a pastor, like you might clip up something that's uh, buzzworthy or triggery to trigger the algorithm to get more views, and then I think that's uh, not what to. Right, I feel like that's yeah. uh, so. When that, so I guess, uh, like marketing, right? Like marketing, advertising, getting, the, getting, Jesus. getting, getting the message out. I mean, what, that's what Jehovah Witnesses do. They don't, don't they not? They all going to hell. I got somebody. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't say that. that. And they look green pastures. Go sleep on the little green fields. Y'all sleep on and burn with that motherfucker. He lets me lie in the meadows grass. How the fuck y'all got y'all little building beat it up? But y'all walk over everybody's house and, and beat their door down. They don't, they don't bail. Well, get y'all ass out of here. The gate. You know what I'm saying? Should have had a gate. There is. Can I get your take on on Miss Norris, please? Well, I mean, when she slid through with the motherfucking Steve Harvey uh, collection suit on or the, <laughs> the motherfucking <laughs> Josh Smith 2004 draft edition suit on, yeah, I was I done. She got I was done there. You know what I'm saying? That shit was so bad. I'm looking like, she better be good. So I don't know something about people. You ain't like the outfit? Hell no. <laughs> I'm like 50, 50 buttons on that bitch. You know what, what I'm saying? How many buttons? 50. <laughs> you, just... you know? So I go to the comments when I see somebody on IG. You go to the comments. Because somewhere in there, you'll get bits and pieces of the truth. Mm -hmm. You'll get... Stuff from people that probably know them or have been represented or or attached them in some kind of way. So I don't know who's who. I don't even know her, but the first comment was, <laughs> shout out to her. You know, this is that. And the next comment was like, this motherfucker lied to me. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> right. So you go to the comments, it's like, man, she over here rapping, but my cousin in jail for this, this. Don't get her. This, this, that, that. So this is why I think what he says coming to play, like, bro, you out here singing, yeah, Glow, but you got cats that watching you sing that song that had your representation and didn't win and lost and things like that. So it's, a, it's problematic on that end. But to see a sister in that space is always great, even though Chicago is so hypocritical. We shit it on motherfucking I say attorney, who I saw the problem with with Kim Fox. We shit it on her. You know, it's a shit fest on her for a long time. But all of a sudden, somebody comes through singing, yeah, glow. <laughs> and we don't judge her. We got the mayor dog. My boo, hey. Oh, shit. Hey, Tiffany Wait, Henry. you talking too fast. What'd you just say? The My boo from dog, dog. The mayor dog. You oh, know what I'm saying? Do you uh, think Tiffany Henry. But we gonna shit on her, though. But it's the same ratchet ass behavior. Y'all think Nori? big up on her, though. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers gotta be consistent. They, can't, they gotta be consistent. They gotta be consistent. Consistent Come on now. with what, though? Will, all right, so, so, so here's the thing, right? Yeah, first, first, of, first of all, I don't have a UUW, right? What does that mean? And why must you know so many defense attorneys? Like, get your fucking life together. <laughs> That What's part. a UUW? UUW, unlawful use of a weapon. Yeah. You got a gun, you got caught with a gun you shouldn't have. Did you know what that meant? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we got guns. Whatever, though. <laughs> we got guns. <laughs> we got guns. <laughs> yeah, so guns. from what I've seen, so it's, it's, it's a lot of first time offenders, right? Uh, uh, charged with a, a pistol, right? Um, she's getting them off, basically. Whoa. I won't allow it. Is she though? Like Happy actually, Women's History Month. Or is this just like social media? Uh, like, what was the question? Is she actually winning these cases? Well, like, it, I don't. I don't know one, who the, she the is. One, or the ones that she posts, she's winning, right? Uh, so it's ESPN. Da 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 da. You're supposed mm, to post your highlights, right? Okay. Right, because okay. it's it's a business. I need to. She she's in business. Um, I couldn't tell you if she's in the upper ninety percent. Going through the comments, bro. She's won and lost about equal amount. Okay. I'm not going to Google her records. I don't give a fuck about her. Fair enough. Shout out to her, though. Fair enough. So the defense attorney, let me get this right, right? Because I watch Law and Order and shit, right? Come on now. So the defense it. attorney is the person, like, if I say, hey, you shot me, the defense attorney is saying, hey, he did not shoot you. Yeah. Right? Okay. So. Well, right. they might not be saying that, but they are trying to. But I'm saying, to, like, they, yeah, they, they defend they're, defend, they're, defending the, they're defending that person that's been accused. Right. Right. Defending right? Accused and, and trying to argue on Particularly behalf, why you did it. Yeah. You know yeah. Saying? But okay. so the weird part is, like, how, how court works. Because there's a judge, and then there are people, yeah. right? So it's not just your defense attorney. It's the prosecutor. It's jury. the judge, and it's the jury. So it's almost like um, we, we're we excited about her, but are we going to vote judges out that actually are responsible for over-sentencing or prosecutors? Like, it just it's weird to me, to your point, about um, our excitement about a person and a profession. But when we absolutely know, like we could we could vote to stop prison gerrymandering, we could vote to you know change change some things about who is uh, who's sending our people to jail unfairly. Like we do right. know there's a population of black people in prison right now, state and federal, that are there illegally and did not mm -hmm. commit crimes. Right. So I'm um, I don't know if something like this will get people excited about engaging in politics and policies to like address so. it. But I don't, I don't think so either. Know, but this so. this addresses a problem, right? You know how you get rich when you fill a void. Mm -hmm. There there are a bunch of young brothers who are getting locked up with pistols. She's found a way, a, a very a niche market. niche, right? Niche niche, same thing. <clears throat> to it's a demand make, make money. She went to right. DePaul too. Shout out to DePaul. It's a it's a demand for those for that type of representation because of the acts that are being committed. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's bro like. Stepping back to uh, thinking about creating black businesses, you want to provide services and products that fill a fill a fill a void or fill a gap. That's where we get in our bag and we're able to you know generate the most income is when we align ourselves with solving a problem. Yeah, are we looking at this particular IG ad a way because there's this aura that we're used to seeing around attorneys? Period. And yeah, they should sure. be, you know, old, white. They should be, you know, suited and tied up. Suits that fit. They, they shouldn't have fun. You know they don't saying? listen to music. Right. They, they go they, eat lunch not with, with the, the culture. judge and lawyers. Yeah. They're not know, young. Things like that. Are we too much? Are we, like you said, are we, is it too much law and order in our system? For sure. You know, or is it too much of the old reality system that when you go to court and see defense and prosecutions and, and all these people that they dress a certain way, look a certain way, they don't say certain things. We don't think they do culturally cool shit it's the it evolution the of the music, game though. but they don't they're not us they're not a part of our generation so it's what we're seeing is like people that are within our age range this is how this this is a it's a spectrum she has to service her her era mm -hmm. right and that's what she's doing i'm sure a majority of her clients probably are 18 to 25 what kind of crimes you think uh she she uh Fins. Uh, tax uh evasion probably it says <laughs> <laughs> you funny drugs weapons duis duis domestics assaults and murder 
parole violations, sex crimes, and theft. That's very. Uh, what percentage of uh, uh, the genre of people? Uh, that's kind of fucked the up. The demographics. But her practice well, black areas, and brown. If we keep it, if we keep it a bean. So her practice areas, at like big buckets: criminal defense, civil rights, police brutality, racial profiling, violent crimes, weapon charges, false imprisonment, and use of excessive force. All right. Well, so a defense attorney, mm-hmm. you know, she's necessary in her. A space. criminal defense. Yeah, I feel like the problem is probably the music itself. If it was a Beyonce song, and I'm not. A Beyonce advocate, but if it was a I Beyonce am. song, I feel like if the click came, the, came out with a Beyonce, Beyonce. the energy might be different. But Got because it. it's, uh, you know, one of the new female rappers or whatever, and the stigma mm-hmm. with that, it's like, oh shit, okay, she about to be twerking at the brunch spot next. Like, I'm okay, a, a aggressive a warriors for your rights at the law office of C N Norris LLC. We you understand the need. Are, are you running an uh, ad Decisive fight? action. The fuck is no, the I'm just saying. Like, yeah. the, the, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. You have, you have, you. So each social media platform caters to a different audience. <laughs> okay. What you see on Instagram is for the population on Instagram. Mm-hmm. What you see on Facebook is going to be a population for Facebook. And when people go to the website, you're going to see and hear a different version. Mm-hmm. And so on some level, it's also like being able to market to the demographics Target of audience. the specific social media platform that you're using mm-hmm. her on linkedin is not going to be the same as on instagram so i'm not about to bash any professional especially somebody here at the crib that's looking to get in front of the audience and let them know that i'm here she successfully did that because how many other criminal defense attorneys are trying to figure out how to pay off their law school bills and they're not out here able to cool. represent and market like I don't see a problem in it. Let me ask this on the flip side, right? Say it was uh, a white politician or uh, yeah. a politician or attorney or whatever Other, you know, yeah. that was doing the same thing. Like, oh, well, I'm just trying to reach my target audience. Like, let me Didn't listen to some... Uh, I don't know who the fuck. I'm not with the appropriation shit. I mean, uh, yeah. so, I mean, so... Um, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable with that. I'll say that. Yeah, we just talked about yeah. Trump and his shoes. Yeah. I think right? the shoe is like, hard, though. I knew you <laughs> would. I told your ass. I knew you would. <laughs> hey, is that not a shoe that dips everywhere, bro? Bro, them shoes. You said dips everywhere. Dips is crazy. match all your fucking jewelry. So, 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 Cam. Bro, them Cam, shoes hard. Cam, bro. I hit Cam. Killer Cam, for the record. Shout out to Is What It Is and Mace, right? I want to know what y'all wait a minute. He hit right back, like, yeah, nah, fam, good looking out. No, it's not us. <laughs> that's cool, shoes. yeah. Okay, be honest next time, okay? Be- <laughs> How about that? Those so, shoes hard. you get in trouble with these charges she, she, that you need defense upon, you hiring her? That's all you saw off that ad, you hiring her? Question, her office or her? Because there are other attorneys. My question said, are you hiring her? So her. Are would you, you would her? you want her to defend you? As a, as a young 18, 25-year-old. You're woman, right now. You're you, a mom right now. You Stop yelling? all these nuances, motherfucker. Stop yelling. <laughs> you at Put your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> hey, when you think like that. Okay, cool. Are you hiring her right now? <laughs> said, uh, I'm, I'm IGA. Are you hiring her right now? I'm from a different era, so probably not. Are you hiring her right now? Yeah, I hire her. Are you hiring her? No. Me either. Yeah, no. Okay. Shout out to Sierra North. I though. also like. Uh, I also Turn out to her. I, Maxine I, I, Shaw, attorney at law. Uh, oh, I, you know what? I forgot about Maxine Shaw. <laughs> Maxine Shaw, attorney at law. <laughs> there you go. Hustle one that big was it? Let's I had move, not seen this move suit. On, man. Let's move on, man. <laughs> what is this suit? I'm so mad. You gotta see that suit. The suit she had in the Yeah so Glow good. video. Yeah Glow. Y'all the wind blew. She had a cape on like did Michael Jackson. <laughs> Hey, no, uh, no deep dive on this, but I thought it was important to know. We diving deep. No, we're not. We're not. Again, we're on we the always clock. do the opposite. Of <laughs> we're on the motherfucking clock. Um, no, Chicago plans to convert office buildings downtown uh, into again a, affordable housing. <laughs> well, well, they got to do get, something. Get with these it. broke motherfuckers out of here. <laughs> Well, they moved into the suburbs. Now they're going to bring them back to the city downtown. We're going to put them back to the suburbs. I'm moving so back to the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> is this the same people that they, they were like, okay, this cool. is the plan for this the people that were were relocated from the it, No, it didn't go into that. That's just me adding adding the sauce. Oh, so uh, um, I did go to a town hall for Bring Chicago Home. Y'all know what that referendum is? No. About the, uh, the real estate transfer tax for... Uh, property sold over a million dollars and that, that money goes into a bucket a hundred a million dollars for the city to tackle homelessness and house, houselessness it's not gonna go that way either but yeah I so it, now it's on it's on the ballot people can vote for yep. it i went to the town hall and it's super confusing about how the money like like cha has their money yep. chicago housing authority yep. it's department of housing and it's kind of separate yep. um Hispanic and housing Mm-hmm. Yeah, banks, all this, this and I'm wondering, up. like, how, like, uh, how much are these properties going to cost? Are these like properties that are already owned by the city, so the city's paying the city? So are they owned by CHA or are they owned by another city department, and mm. we're paying the city, or are we purchasing or leasing from people who've contributed campaign dollars? Like, it's interesting. It's it's always worrisome to me because when you hear about bills that put money, they 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 pull money. 
pool, P O O L, pool money. Pool, pool yeah. money. Pool money. Somebody's always going to steal. It's never failed. Somebody's always going to steal or misappropriate those funds. It's never failed. Sorry. I didn't know that when Lightfoot was going out, that she actually sold CHA property to the president of the Chicago Fire on her last day. Hmm. Like it was Chicago Housing Authority property that she then signed over with the with the approval of the president of CHA to the president or the owner of Chicago Fire. What's that kickback though? Um, the president ended up with a raise of fifty thousand, I believe. This is in the Chicago Reader. This isn't speculating. This was reported when she was on. Her, it was like a What's midnight her kickback, deal. I mean, what I'm saying. Who I have? She, uh, she had received campaign money from the owner of the Chicago Fire. Scratch my back. I scratch yours. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the crib. So what's uh, I guess what he's saying, or maybe I'm saying it wrong, but like, uh, where's the criticism, or am I am I misunderstanding? It was written in an article, right? Like people. Uh, I need outrage. 50, 50, <laughs> 51% of Chicago is illiterate. I need outrage. God but people damn. people don't read. It's like what news moves, right? Look 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 what's on the run of our show. Right? It's like what's popping and what's mm-hmm. popular. Um I do think that depending on who's talking about it, like us talking about it pushes it a little further right. because we're just in like people are in comp- like um conversations are in competition with all these other things on people's algorithms. It's real it's real life stuff going on right now, but it may not come across your your 50 50 dates and Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you don't watch TV stuff. or listen to news radio or WBON, like where would you come across W-B-O-N. them stories? It, right, you that's true. That's true. I don't it's watch that's what it is, I've you know. Heard shit though. I want to make a, sh- a movie called The Algorithm. Is Y'all that why they shot Lori's house because of that deal? Mm. A speculation. Conspiracy mm. theorists. Mm. We're here for it. <laughs> where's, um, the, uh, <laughs> where's the music? The conspiracy music? Uh, X Files music, right? Yeah, X Files. Uh, uh, shout out to Chris Brown, man, com- coming to Chicago. For what? I fuck with, I fuck with Chris Me Brown. Me too. I want to see him boogie yeah. on stage. He, so, comes to, he comes to Chicago. That's, that's huge. You know, I just shout out. Shout out to his camp yeah, performance in uh, Tinley Park. Uh, let me see where he's going to be. Hold on. Let's, let's be well, clear. Well, he performed in Tinley Park. We did security for him at Tinley Park uh, maybe a year or two ago. And somebody in his crew stole somebody from little Baby Crew. Dead in the mouth. Bow. And be like that sometimes. Stole, 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 not stole. Stole, stole on him. Stole on Okay. Stole on. You put the own on there. They fired off of stole on They stole on You think Chris Brown, is he still selling uh, pictures? Like for like a Hopefully thousand, he should. Well, that, that was doing COVID. Dollars. That was doing COVID. That was be. genius. Yeah. It was. You never let that go. Probably funded this whole tour. <laughs> and that, that line was, <laughs> hey, that line was long too. United Center, so United Center. Uh, Bossy probably will be doing security there. So uh, you know, we in there. Uh, I would love to go to the show. I hope we get yeah. like a what is it? A, what's it? June seventh and June eighth. Yeah, the sweet. sweet. I want to the booth. Sweet, yeah, in the booth. You want a booth or a table, man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying a high boy. You want to sit? I think little? I've seen everybody. I want to see as far as performing goes. I think I'm everybody. Gonna... Damn near. I think I, so. when, when Cole and uh, Drake come to Chicago, I'm definitely want to see that. They're not coming together. They said they got a tour together. They uh they went to St. Louis instead of Chicago. I hate them there. Mm. Yeah. But I'm waiting. I want I still I like haven't St. seen Louis. J. Cole. I want to see him like by himself, though. I don't want to see him you know, feet or because Drake had like 20 songs and J. Cole did like five, like on the set list. I'm like, says I'm, a lot. I'm good. I already seen Drake, so I'm good. So where where are y'all at if, if we're gonna stay in this music music space? Mm-hmm. Um today is March 9th. And a prominent rapper at the time during his era, uh, Cannabis said, the greatest rapper <laughs> of all time died on March 9th. He lied. This is Biggie's uh, death day. Um, rest in peace. Rest in peace to B.I.G. I think B.I.G. gets a lot of credit um, that he may not deserve. And I'm going to be Damn. honest. I'm going to be honest. I've always Damn. said this. I love his music, but his catalog is not big enough for him to be goaded. Talked about what he's talked about. And uh, yes, Biggie's nice as fuck. Mm-hmm. But he has two albums. And then the second one was a double CD. And there's a lot of skips on that double CD. Now. <laughs> what no skips on the first one? What's what's the... Less, less skips. On the first what's one. the, I guess, the barometer, right? Of like how many projects do you need to qualify for your list? Good question. I would, I would say at least four. Come on. Yeah, three, bro. He had two projects. I mean, Life bro. Out of Death is that's two CDs, so count it as three. You count the remixes. I mean, you got side A, side. What's it's, the last it's one? A double uh, album. Dead wrong. What was that one? The on? duets. I ain't, I'm that? not even counting that. Like, but I'm yeah. saying like Life Out of Death is two. It's two CDs. I don't agree with him on that though. Ready to Die is one. You How many? Would, I, I you think you need to have as many uh, albums no or in a ballpark of as many albums as those you're grouped with. So if he's in the top, say people put him in the top five for no reason to me. Uh, where Jay Z got so many albums, Nas got so many albums, 
Pac got so many albums, Face got so many albums, Cube got so many albums, you know, but he only has two. Let me give a rebuttal. Uh, Michael Jackson or Prince? Oh, Mike. We already did this. Mike, all day. You go, Mike. But Prince got like 7,000 albums. Not yeah. 7,000. Okay, cool. And, yeah. Give a fuck. Yeah. and okay, cool. cakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he got But that, that just, that just <laughs> funny. That's just two of them, though. It, that's, that's a two person category between them two. I got the, the dynamic. The rap category for top five or top 10 changes depending upon who you talk to. And if, top five has been generous because Mount, Mount Rushmore is four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So really, but you got to go for Should certain circumstances... No. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> like, Death like should elevate you. Death should elevate I'm you. not saying elevate you, but it shouldn't... Uh, shouldn't put you in the lower. Shouldn't... Right. Give you it a pass. Better no, or worse in your position if it's based mm-hmm. off of... But I'm saying it's your list, so you can... Yeah, I mean, I, I think... Choose, but. Shout out to Biggie, you know. He, he was one of the rappers that was polarizing uh, in that n- mid-90s era that you couldn't deny, you know. It turned out to be a race... How a fair or unfair may have been between Tupac and him because they they divided the country to coast. Okay, Mark. They, they really did that. You know what I'm saying? That's great but marketing. I think people give Biggie credit because New York needed a savior at that time. They need somebody to represent them that could appeal to the mass, and he was that. I always say he wasn't the best lyricist. I think I think his lyrics were very simple. They were advanced Doctor Soup type lyrics, but his delivery was pretty much untouched because we had never heard a delivery that smooth where he just bounced along the track and you didn't miss a beat. No matter what he was talking sad. about, you and know what I'm saying. Sad. But right, that with, counted too. Was, no, because, because he said, technically though, he wasn't that marketable. You can't right. do was, that. Fat, First of all, what was going on that boat with Puffy? He's going to the island to Puffy freak out. Yeah, let's 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 let's, let's, not, sure. let's get into he's going to freak off the end. No sure. fat ass. You want to fucking freak sure. off, wasn't you? For sure. You're not exempt, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Looking at the camera. Absolutely, going to the fucking freak off. But Biggie's not looking at. We give we give him a pass. Like he just bought. We give him a pass because uh he died. I don't. You know, because he's he's thrust into the category of who's the greatest and the best and all this because he passed away and he was nice. I don't he, think that's fair. He passed away in his prime. And if I'm a, if I'm gonna do well, that, I, I don't know if, if that's his prime, bro. He might not even reach his prime yet. Okay, cool. But if we're gonna do that, then we also have to throw big pun in that conversation for goats. I, I bet threw him in there. I don't even put him in my top ten, my top twenty. Okay, cool. Though. I'm just you saying know? because pun had two projects as well. Okay, wait. He you got a lot big of skips on those where? too. Not in my top ten. Oh, he's not. Okay, I thought you said he not, was. He's oh, definitely okay. not. Okay, okay. He's top fifty for me. Do we do we have any big, big quotables, right? <laughs> is, yeah. Black and ever. What do you say? Black, black and ugly as ever. Cool just was Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> if you Shut don't know, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh I know you sick of this. Hypnotize, it's a whole hypnotize, you know. You know why somebody kills you. Uh a, a lot of big quotables. Isn't Who the this fuck great, is this? Wait, page me isn't this great? Her flight leads to eight. Morning. My flight lands and now my game just rewinds. Lyrically, I'm supposed to represent. Now what? Not only a client, I'm, I'm the player, player president. president. People yeah. love that. He remixed Big Papa so many times, one more chance. Uh, he got dope work. Dope work, but uh, March 9th, the greatest rapper of all time died. You got better rappers in that state, in that city, from that hood. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't he don't compare lyrically or discography-wise to Nas, to Jay-Z, uh, to LL. All right, going, so if I, if, if, I, if, I, if I put uh, the, the, type of, the type of track, right? So Biggie's a great storyteller. He does have some... Or do you take... Uh, a storytelling, uh, the one where the ch- he was like, after I shit on the bitch, mm-hmm. right? Like that yeah. one. Um, <laughs> Nas, nasty, right? right? Nasty. Nas had that one where he 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 rhymed backwards. Uh-huh, rewind. rewind, right? Um, and then you got well a different era, Slick Rick, one of the goat storytellers, the right? storyteller, the blueprint. Snoop had storytelling. All right, so if you if you don't go project and you just go the type of track, who are you picking as the best? Storyteller. Who had the best story or who's the best storyteller? Best storyteller in a rhyme. I'm going Slick Slick Rick sto- told stories for his, his, that's him. Mona Lisa, uh, David Crockett. He was the first to do stories. it. He was the first to do it. I'll say that. that uh, that's that's not my, my, my era. That's me just getting into Right, that was just like the yeah. sto- storytelling. All right, yeah. so if in our era. Oh, that ain't your era. Yeah. He said, hi, that ain't your era. <laughs> here, you, here you go. <laughs> you don't wear stretchy jeans. <laughs> it, was, it was at home coming. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I've been crossing motherfuckers over for a long time. Dope storyteller, My bad. Though. My bad. Dope storyteller, guru. Story could never yeah. catch. Dope wait, storyteller. Wait till the return, bro. Just wait till the return. But I was going to say, uh, so uh, when Biggie died, or say 2000, right? Okay. Who do you think, if you can think back as far as 25 years ago? Uh, <laughs> he called you. No, I'm not dissing you. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't need care, bro. I he got said right you need to go by Loba. <laughs> like, who was the top five all time at that point to you? 
Because at that point, Jay-Z had like three albums. Nas had like four albums. What's you know what I'm saying? So like the, the, 2000? Tw- I know Biggie died on 87, but I'm like saying like just 2000. Like, okay. 2014. I, see, I, see um, I, don't, I don't think, well, if we're being honest, I don't think people were putting Jay on their on Mount Rushmore at that time. Mm. Right, right, right. No, I, I would I'm agree. Saying. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. People, so who, who like, like Ice Cube? Like a no, it was people, no, it was people like LL, Karras, one at this point still, before that point, because mm-hmm. the people we talk about now had really established themselves right. with the body of work and, you know, the impact on the game yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you have people- But Biggie had been dead for three years, so it's still fresh at this point. Do you feel like people was like, or is, is that when it started? Like, oh yeah, Biggie is the- is, That's is, when New York, the machine that is New York, started giving him all his love and tooting their horns, you know, Biggie this, Biggie that, you know, the funeral through the street. Like- he was some kind of king when he died. Like, bro, he wanted the best out y'all shit. But it was it was at the pinnacle of the beef. Right. Right? Like, that's where a lot of that love came from was it hey, was man. East Coast, West Coast. And he the was in that sp- been dead. I, I feel like anybody that would have yeah. been in that spot would have received the same type of energy after their transition. What's the best story you've ever heard in the rap? Um, I got oh lines my already. God. I forgot the name of I was listening to it and people thought that he was rapping about a bra, but he was rapping about a gun. Thomas, no, uh, I'll give you power, Nas. No, no, no. He's a younger rapper. And I'm like, listen. And they're like, they think Joyner they're talking Lucas about a... Huh? Joyner Lucas, maybe. Yeah, Joyner Lucas did that shit. Okay, yeah, because I'm like... He, yeah, that shit was cold. Shit. I was like, because uh, everybody, oh, he's talking about... I'm like, he's not talking about a woman. He's talking about a gun. And they like... How many times has like, been done, though, man? Four, but it was the... Well, no, was, he, he reversed the story. About watching a kid get killed, and he right, was, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit was dope. It was the way that the story was told that it was very that's elusive, and you had to like listen to it and be like, "Oh, that's what he." So it was, it was a great story. What you think? I, I really, it's too many songs to choose from. Like, meet the parents, Jay Z. That was uh, a good story. Common sense. I used to love her. Uh, I hate Eminem, but I get Stan once. Oh, Stan, that was a great story. Uh, Fucking, like you said, the ad-libs were crazy on that one. Uh, Kendrick got a song, uh, a few of them. Um, what's the shit called? Uh, my mind's playing tricks on me. Does Miss Bad Booty? That count? might be no more. Yeah, <laughs> I, th- I think my favorite is uh, and it's got remixed and it's still you play it, you hear it every time. It's today was good about Ice Cube. A story from oh, yeah, that's number yeah, one. Yeah, to yeah. Bear, bro. That's, that's number to one. To me, I'm like shit. You can't beat that to me. That's number one. You had a great video with it too. It was yeah. though. Summertime then by you know Will Smith. They don't count. Like story, like story wise. No, I'm, that's a summertime I'm not, story. I'm not giving that. To yeah, I, I get what you. I feel like it was it was him explaining the day, but it didn't feel like he's explaining what summer is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was not, not, not like in the not yeah. in the moment. Yeah, uh, parents just don't understand, maybe. Uh, or no, like night, nightmare, on my, night, nightmare on my street. That's Definitely. Carrie's one loves want to get you. Hmm. I heard a KRS one song talking about some. If I was a blunt, I was like, "Where did this come from?" He was going through a phase. He was high. He was going through a phase. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, serious. Going through, going through a phase. Thank you, serious. Wait, the Kendrick song is how much a dollar costs. That's the yeah, song. that's my shit. What was uh, that on Section Eighty? Nah, that's Section Eighty. Butterfly. Hard too. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, okay. uh, I got a shout, shout out Bahamadia because she has a story uh, when uh, like going out. Um, was it True Honey Buns? I like mm-hmm. something like okay. that. Stop. Good enough. Wait, how many lady rappers can y'all actually name? Queen, I can name a lot. A lot of them, bro. A lot of them. How many do y'all listen to? I listen to all of them. I listen to all of them. I listen to all of them. Y'all don't want that flavor in y'all ears. I listen to all of them. I like Rhapsody a lot. Rhapsody is y'all. Y'all do know men goes write a lot of these ladies' lyrics, though, right? Hey, you said it. It's the truth. I don't know who writing it. These same writers write everybody's shit. I don't really listen to it. So it's men telling women, telling women what to say to other women that men want to hear. This shit's like the Twilight fucking zone. Oh God, it's misogynistic. <laughs> it, it, it's the truth, though. It's the truth. Why would you yeah, not? They, yeah, they I was thinking, up. like, who writes ladies' love songs? It's mostly men, I think. Yeah. We're like, we, since, y'all, since y'all can't shit, open like, your mouths to tell us on your own, <laughs> we're going to write love songs to tell, tell, tell us. Yeah, because y'all don't know what a man Baby face, wants. Neo, Dream. I was listening to Tony Braxton. Talk about it. Um, <laughs> Talk about it. All the niggas write the hard piece. All that shit, man. Let Me Count the Ways. Let I was thinking, like, how has uh, has a woman ever sent you love songs? And do they send women's songs or do they send men's songs or women's? Okay, women's. Cause you're not gonna send me a song with a man like just crooning in my ear and shit. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think you're just gonna do that. You know? You're rejecting. Well, you would love this Barry White song. Like, come on, bro. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Slow down. <laughs> this shit turned me on. Huh? Like, Go like, oh, home, bro. Like, nah, I don't, I don't even be doing that. Wrong, wrong group chat. <laughs> All right, wrong group chat. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got you with what a man is supposed to do. Oh, is that shit? Right back to her. <laughs> right back at you. 
can't do this. That's hilarious, we dog. We can't do this. That's what I don't think I've oh like. God. No, I don't. I don't. I don't send. Yeah, no. Because you just like. Because I think the woman is like speaking from your perspective as well. So you would just send <laughs> the woman saying but the thing I, to I, the I, dude. Hey, like, send your man some motherfucker. No very well. You're not, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> you're just not gonna do that. That's hot, man. <laughs> Let's Probably. let's let's uh let's transition and to move what? move on to the fight game. <laughs> Face ass. Legal. The fight game. The fight game. We're talking uh UFC. We're talking bing, bing, bing. Uh, Mike Tyson and what, what what's his white boy name? Jake man? Paul. Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. Jake Paul. Or is now, it Logan? Now Logan WWE. No, this yeah, yeah it's, it's Jake. The the youngest brother. Mm. Um he, in the game. He, he is. This is yeah, this is a real fight, this not a, like uh, it's a real it's Floyd a real Mayweather. Fight. No, it's a real fight. Oh, yeah, it's a real it's, fight. It's, but they consider it an ex, exhibition. Exhibition. That's right, the word. Yeah. yeah. Because it's Jake Paul isn't a part a card of, fighter. There you go. He's not a pro fighter with a, with a pro card. Neither is Mike anymore. So right. they have to call so it an exhibition. It, yeah. right? Now exhibition fights aren't new to the fight world. They've been right. doing this forever. I'm right? not leaving doing about um, it. It's part of the problem. Twofold. I am not mad at him getting way more money. And when I say way more than him, I'm talking about Jake Paul figuring out how to use his audience. Use his white skin. That part. And his privilege. Yeah, come on now. To gain nothing but bread off these fights. Right? Time, and, it, um, and, and it also helps that he has won these fights. Yeah. Right? Who so else the has more. He a couple uh, UFC fighters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's fought some people. Floyd. He fought Floyd too, didn't he? Nah, he fought. That was the other nah. one. Yeah, that was the so other. does he okay. pay to fight them? Yeah. And yeah. then he gets a return on his investment by promoting. Tickets, so he promote. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. So he he filling seats. He getting all the viewers and shit. Because though now that this one gonna be on Netflix with Mike Tyson and shit, which is weird though. Netflix now, trying shit. They running out. Now he he to be to be got him. But they running out. To be got him. Watch this shit be. One of the largest streamed events on, 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 on fucking Netflix, right? So it's genius in that regard. I feel for this brother. I hope he doesn't die in the ring that day. You think he will? Yes. I don't think so. Why I believe Mike Tyson as much, man? I'm Yo, a, or what he used I'm, to be? I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to tell you why. Before you go, I'm going to tell okay. you why. There's no part of me, whether I'm a fighter or not, that wants to get in the ring with Mike Tyson. I would rather get in the ring with George Foreman before I get in the ring mistake. with Mike Tyson. And I say that because I've seen a lot of these clips of Mike still going hard. What is he hitting, though? Good. Hitting the pass. Pass, right? Hitting pass, the pass, right? back, bro. Hold on. So when he, he fought... Roy when, when, ass. When, he, yeah. when, he's, when <laughs> he fought... Worth a punch, no way. <laughs> all I'm saying is that shit was different. It was fat, too. Now, <laughs> I'm saying. At, the, at the end of the day, you almost forgot. Mike... Doesn't want to get knocked out or hurt by this white boy. Does that kill his legacy? He don't want to get knocked out by anybody, but it happened. Does this he lost fight, a cat named Buster, bro? Buster. Does this does this exhibition kill his legacy? It don't mean no. nothing. It don't mean nothing. shit. Nothing. It don't mean shit. You can't touch Mike's legacy. Yeah, it's over with. It don't, it don't mean shit. He was cemented once he made Mike Tyson punch out. At this point, yeah, yeah, he has his own video game. It ain't it's going Mike, away. It's Mike Tyson. But at this point, I'm on some uh, like, okay, this is this is your event, right, Jake Paul. It's your event. I'm paying you for this fight, right? The the odds, because I, I like gambling and shit, right? Talk that talk now. Come on. J- Jake Paul is not gonna be favored to win this fight. Who you think I'm putting my money on? Mm-hmm. When you think who whose event it is, who benefits from this the most? He ain't wrong. Who's everybody putting their money on? Come on, man. What so I'm not gonna uh, put a lot on it. I'm not gonna so what's the difference between an exhibition and a and, and a right? Like how is this different? Is it a uh, fewer rounds? Rules can be minutes? shifted. Rules. So do we know the rules? It don't yet? count on your record. Yeah. Uh, There's nobody counting punches. Like, how do you win? They, they definitely count that. No, they, they, they count punches. Count they count all that. You're not trying to knock somebody out though. Don't know that yet. You're definitely there, there are secret clauses. It's still a knockout. No, that's why that's why Roy and Mike had the clause nobody could be knocked out. Right. Two old motherfuckers. Yeah, right? like it, de- it depends on the and, stipulation. Yeah. That they and as on. crazy as as uh, Jake Paul presents himself to be, he's like, "Fuck it, I'd rather get hit by a sixty year old Mike than a twenty five year old." Oh, all Mike. day, right? So and he, and whatever, he had whatever. no choice. He wasn't born back then. So exactly. So whatever happens, talking about man. Whatever happens, happens. Get off I'm Mike saying. nuts, y'all. <laughs> Who you got your money on? Neither one of them. If you got a bet, if I gave you, I'm betting on a draw. The bet. Bet on the draw. I put my money on, on the draw. Pick one or the other. No, for it, 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 it's real. <laughs> Please, <laughs> man. Pick. Is, is, is there a knockout? 
Oh, that's fair. No. Yeah, no I'm gonna say out. no. I don't think I don't. No I don't think gonna knock Jake out. could no get out the fuck out. Okay, no okay, okay, out. okay. Okay. <laughs> Is there gonna be a knockdown? If so, who and yeah, what round? It'll definitely be a knockdown. Jake Paul will get knocked down, probably like third round, and then Mike Tyson gonna be like, "All right, bro, I'm tired as fuck. Let's go ahead." I would love to see Mike get knocked out though. <laughs> Let's go ahead, hit me one. I'm gonna take you fall a out? quick dive. I don't think Mike could take a dive. Though. So that's why it's hard to bet it because you never know if it's rigged or not, bro. It's one cabil. Anything that you, you can cabillion. bet on. Okay? <laughs> you, you sound can like bet a on it. <laughs> a boom. If, if you can bet on it, better believe it's rigged. Why, why do cats love Mike Tyson's or his legacy so much though? Like, when I, as a boxing fan, I watched boxing since. TV was on tape delay watching Boston and LA Lakers play. Oh you know God. what I'm saying? My, me and my dude, we watch boxing. Rest in peace, Dad. We watch boxing That's all, the, talk boxing <laughs> all the time. TV was on and tape. I, I'm going to tell you this from the bottom of my heart. Says Rosa. I, to all of, our, I, I, all of our listeners and followers, man, Mike Tyson's legacy is overrated. You know, when he started fighting competition that could actually fight, he started losing. He began losing. Oh, because Baptist. he was only good at like, punching? No, not because of that. Because when he fought better competition, he, he just was not the he boxer he thought he was. Nobody was scared of him. Evander wasn't scared of him. Linus wasn't scared of him. They weren't scared of him, bro. The Around. Frank Brunos, the McCalls, and all. It was just different, bro. He fought Pillow Post for a long time. I mean, he did what he was supposed to do it. He knocked their ass out. Get him out of here. There might have been no more exciting fighter to watch than Mike Tyson because, you know, you sit down with your slice of pizza, don't get the fuck up because the fight will be over. I think that's probably that's the allure, though. That's it. So, but see, as uh, a boxing fan, that don't mean shit to me. Like, I love Deontay Wilder knocking people out. You start fighting better people, guess what? It was over with. He start losing. Tyson Fury, it was over with. The end, bro. Yeah. Well, you asked the question why people are in love with it, with his besides his the video legacy. game and, and the list. I mean, he, 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 like cool, he's uh, the Jordan. His head and shit, right? He's the Jordan of his time, right? And, or really, he's the Tyson of his time, right? So he he was the benchmark, <laughs> the Tyson of his time. <laughs> he's Tyson, the benchmark. The Tyson. For he's what? the baseline. For what? For boxing. At, at in his point. era. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think his style. His better think his style of fighting was really was, aggressive, he's, he's and it was exciting. Y'all look from a, a, a only like a fan standpoint, then. No, no. I'm. I'm look, look yeah, at it's not. It's not soft skill. It's just about look at uh, it, uh, popularity uh, and, and generationally, right? You, you you got Muhammad Ali. That's the goat for me, right? Before really? be, okay. before Muhammad, who was it? Jack Johnson. Who cares? Exactly. Right after Muhammad, Mike Tyson was the next Most guy. Entertaining. He's the next guy. It, 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 yeah. it, it, it happens was, that it way. Was his, yeah. And it if was, you look at his. sports, every 20, 25 years or so, there, there's a guy that comes and carries the fucking sport until the next guy shows up, whoever that may be. Most sports, yeah. Yeah, I think mean, every most sports. Most you got to have somebody. Basketball yeah. overlaps. We've seen it. Basketball overlaps. Baseball, it's a lot at the same time. Boxing, that might be the one where, you know, it's a drought in between. Because after <laughs> Muhammad, the best boxer, didn't come along again until Floyd Mayweather. The most entertaining boxer in, in between there was Mike Tyson. He wasn't the best boxer. Right. Because he put skills, with, you had to put skills with wins. Don't over think Hagler and all them guys. Like, yeah. Entertaining, entertaining, entertaining. Okay. Sugar Ray, sorry, Sugar Ray. I was going to say Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray, Ray. Ray. Yeah. My, my apologies. Bad. My, bad. my apologies. Yeah, that's my bad. Great boxer. What about Lenny Lewis? Sweet Pete. I'm, 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 I'm sorry watching him sort of mistaken now. My, my, my oh, brain's running out. Like, yeah, right. Sweet Pete Whitaker. I'm talking about big names. You skipped like 60 years. The big names, though. Let's do the big names like that. Sugar Ray, Sweet Pete. You throw up, nah, Hearns and still Durant. And, and, Hearns yeah. left one, two. That was it. Uh, That's all you needed. Man. Yeah, but <laughs> boxing Hearns means you got to play deep. It's, it's like uh, any sport. It's both two sides of the, of the fence, mm -hmm. you know, so, of, of the field, of the playing field. Offense and defense, you know what I'm saying? Where you uh, rank Floyd at? Floyd, Floyd, if not on the same page as Muhammad, right underneath him, bro. I'm cool with that. Because he, he went from highly offensive and whooping your ass to defensive and still whooping your ass. I'm and cool get paid. And he's still literate. He's still, he's still uh, coherent, excuse me, coherent <laughs> talking. <laughs> What, what? <laughs> you had to change that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? saying. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you rank? Where you rank you at, bro? <laughs> I'm nice. What weight class would you be if you was a boxer? <laughs> mm. Y'all next. What the fuck y'all laughing for? <laughs> I'm definitely well to wait. <laughs> you know what? Many jokes as I have, you probably be right because you have to be in shape. You would. You probably would be. You'd be. He ain't got to be in shape. They you be a super walter They let Ruiz uh, fight. That boy, that boy is a, a whole hamburger with legs. <laughs> you ain't got to be in shape. <laughs> he is. Just, God damn. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm starving. Hey, Clarissa Shields is on your bumper right now. You going to fight Clarissa Shields? Uh, first of all, I'm the lady with the card and the number. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Would you matter fight I'm, Caitlin matter, Clark? Matter, matter of fact, I'm the, I'm the promoter. <laughs> Would you fight Caitlin Clark? I'm not fighting nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I just say I'm the promoter? Like, I, own, I own where the ring is. You know like, who Caitlin Clark is? I have no clue. That's I'm the sorry. white girl basketball player, college uh, little scrawny white girl. What weight class you in, Dave? Uh, whatever weight class he in, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm two hundred. <that> <laughs> Without the boots, <laughs> hey, I'm definitely cruiserweight. 
you know, and I'm definitely going right, to be man. 0 and 1. First time I lose, <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Right, <laughs> cruise away. Yeah. Cruise away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Two, fuck two, out 200 here, pounds, bro. You know? Hey, all right, so let me ask you. Not like nobody. Cruise away, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> what's dude tank? Like, I be watching boxing. I'm like, bro, these dudes like 120. They be little. Like, that's kind of crazy. But I wouldn't fight them. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> like, 5'2", 120. Like, yeah, bro. No way. No, no way. No chance. Y'all too fast. Uh, Are we watching that Jake Paul Tyson fight, by the way? Oh, Logan Boy, fuck it is. I want to watch oh, it. It's, I, July 20th, I mean, it's, it's right? Netflix. I, you know, I, I got let an me, account. Let me say, I illegally stream everything. So Facts. They, they, Come on, they, talk they, about they, it. Y'all not getting none of my actual viewership. <laughs> 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 His sorry. viewership don't count towards y'all pockets. Okay? Allegedly. I'm sorry. Allegedly. 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 Which might make it kind of genius that he was able to tap into their budget already. Because they running out. <laughs> there you it's go. over. <laughs> what, is, what is Mike Tyson outside the video game? I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> what is he most known for, bro? He was on WWE. Okay. Was he? He was on WWE. It's that part. My Tyson and WrestleMania. That was Outside the video game, bro. What's he most known for? Knocking people. We're not doing that. I no. see where you're going. What's he most known for, bro? We ain't talking about no criminal shit. We ain't finna shit on Mike like that, though. We don't, okay. we don't do what white media, white media do. We don't do that. He was okay. knocking niggas out. I mean, I think that's enough. Yeah, that was, mm. that's what he was known for. What was his yeah. record? Fast like, knockouts. Like currently. 50 like, something and, and something. Less than 10 losses. Definitely less, less than 10 because he quit. Yeah. He retired. So, I mean, you beat up 50 niggas. I think that gives you enough. <laughs> What yeah. give you a, they give yeah. you enough credits. Like, you know? like, what what, what, what does Hangover rank at in his legacy? Hangover? Top five. Hangover. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Top what five. You see what I'm saying, right? The it's a lot of shit outside the box that, that, that you love. My, what's Mike Tyson Mysteries rank at? That shit was fire. That I love good. that. Fire, bro. Pigeon, I, I really pigeon. Like, like, Where's his mystery? See what I'm saying? I but if you didn't that say that, it wasn't going to come out. I'm trying to tell you, bro. We love Mike for shit outside the ring, bro. But I think the in the ring is what gave the the extra shit the foundation. It was the doorway to it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, all the other shit wouldn't. You can have all the cartoons you want. Like I mean, look where he started and where he is right now. Shorty, shorty for the win. <laughs> you know I mean? for the win. Cruise away, shorty. George Foreman got a grill. I don't even. Like, Thanks, George Foreman with the grill. Yeah. I don't even attribute yeah. them to the same person at all. <laughs> at all. all right, look, look. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> that was um, a really long, not deep dive. Didn't I say we was that deep? Um. Take Miami that, Beach. Take that, take that. Yes. Miami Beach. <laughs> for all of my uh, my Daytoners, Miami what? Beachers. Uh, what's, what's Love other? Daytona Beach. Uh, South, uh, South Beachers. South Beachers. South Beach. uh, Fort Lauderdale. Dade hey, County. Get y'all ass up mm. out here. Palm Tree Lovers. Right. The entire state said, we're done with y'all. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> it was wild. Have, have any of y'all ever been to South Beach or, or, yes. or, or the spring shit? Uh, so I've never done spring break because I don't like crowds, but I love Miami. Definitely did spring break uh, at Panama Beach and Daytona Shout Beach. Shout to Panama for sure. Um, did y'all get a spring bling or was y'all past that? No, I went to I was going to Black Beach. Steady <laughs> calling y'all low. Steady <laughs> calling I'm just saying, like, that no, was I was mad about that. I was mad about that. It, it okay. was out to us, yeah. It was out okay. Us. Oh, yeah, you, okay. Yeah. I got you. Nah, spring, but that was like MTV. Yeah, right? but that's, like, yeah, that shit look that, lit though. Like, so really, we, 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 up we lit the fire and then you motherfuckers just ran with it, yeah. It was yeah. before I could even, by the time it was time for me to go, they was like, yeah, we're not doing this shit no more. So there's no more spring deal. bling. It's just. Yeah, Black Beach weekend beach. used to be wild. But I can imagine <laughs> like trying to go to uh, uh, spring break in Miami, like on a family vacation. <laughs> Like that's the, hell, that's the that's not being in Cancun in like April and shit. Yeah, no, so I, don't like, I don't like, I don't like hanging out. I want to say breakers. this and I'm going to, you know, Cancun let y'all talk. Great. I just want to say spring bling Miami, spring break is key for every college student because some of them never have sex. This is the first time they're ever going to have sex. This is the first time they're ever going to get drunk. Talk about it. This is the first time that they're ever going to wild out Come and on just up. step away from their parents. In the back. Come on now. Um, it's necessary for them. Uh -huh. Now, unfortunately, that turns into some shit that the city isn't ready for. But that is an experience that every kid needs. Uh, to break the law? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, know if, yes. I, don't know, I don't know if they need it. That's <laughs> weird. Know, yes. Well, it, but... these, these cities are, you know, uh, places where people like actually live. Like Fuck they're yeah. residents. They knew before they moved there. It's, uh, no, they didn't. I mean, it's other, it's other countries that, <laughs> or other cities. How long have they been spring breaking in Miami, girl? What? How long have they been spring breaking in Miami? It hasn't been like that. And so we're seeing an escalation of violence and crime that's expensive. It changes their tourism and people willing to come that's that that can't afford to come every other day that's not spring break. And this is crisis management. Like after y'all leave and y'all ain't got no money, right? And y'all sitting up here coming, you can't afford the hotels. Y'all got to put 20 people in a room. You can't afford to really get into the clubs. You can't really afford the restaurants. I ain't right? It's a lot of money in there, but it's not Close a it lot of it's people that don't have a lot of money. It is a it is a stressor on a city. And imagine if a storm came through. 
And you got all them poor uh, college students there that can't get out. Like, mm. That's huh. their fault. Hey, wash away. That, no well, this, this, <laughs> wash this, away. Thanos. This is, this <laughs> is why is. Miami is like, yeah, nah. I'm like, y'all get it, get it together. Like, uh, could you imagine Chicago? Uh, what, what, what event do we have that could get out of control that summertime. Chicago would- uh, Every summer. Summertime period. <laughs> just, just, just no, I'm saying, summer I said period. Event. June through. We don't have one. You want to know why? So like Lala. It used to be the taste. I would say the taste probably The taste got there. Been. It got there. What but do we, we do? People were op hunting at the taste we at one point. We didn't spaz out at, at the taste like that. It was getting what, there. What part of the taste was you at? <laughs> what, 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 he right? was outside. He was, oh, okay. he was tasting other things. He was on the turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he the turkey leg. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you were tasting other things, Mike. What <laughs> other things? <laughs> he was getting... He no, was I, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I, I think it's kind of fucked up what they're doing down there. But I understand because... I think it should be criminal to jack up the fines the way they are jacking these fines up from getting your car towed and these like citations you get from like sixty bucks to five hundred bucks. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's that's pimp. You shouldn't you shouldn't have the power to do that. Where are the checks and balances in that? You can enforce your curfews, fine. You can curse, enforce all the liquor things. And you City talk, Council you, said yes. you're talking about for the y'all fucking criminals anyway. Ron DeSantis, shut the fuck up. If anybody, that's he, the he, governor. He's the vo- yes. Oh, I like Ron DeSantis. Yeah, he's, he's a he's well, a, a, he's a, he's a loser. City Council, though. He, he's the guy that I like Ron, De- uh, okay. Ron DeSantis. Okay, we'll leave alone then. All right. <laughs> so they're shutting down certain streets. And if I live there, guess what? It's different it's residents. It's affecting me. They did it, say it's different. It's for different for residents than it is for visitors. You, can, you know what, Which what, is what I think is You know what kind of stress it is to be out there and heck, I, I do this for a living to have to go through everybody's fucking ID to see who can who can't. Yeah. Why why you putting your law enforcement through that? Yeah. That's a problem. Is, is that or is that or have Man, way, have way too many people? So again, cities are trying to figure out how do we protect our businesses? How do we protect our brand? And how do we protect the people that are coming here? And if it's getting off the chain and we can't afford to manage uh, uh, more escalation, we're going to have to figure out a way to use our resources a little bit more wisely. We'll <laughs> we'll see if it works and, and how. That commercial was wild. Yeah, that's, I commercial. love the commercial. That was genius. The commercial was wild. Check this out, though. How about this? We... Uh, spring break has already broke up with Miami. They're going to Houston already now. It's cool. They moving to Houston. You don't underestimate people want the will of people that want to go ahead and fuck shit up or have fun. They'll find anywhere. They'll take a empty fucking lot. Think about the chosen few. We took a park. We took a park and turned that bitch up. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? They'll t- find a way to turn up. So it's really not stopping nothing now. Now it's just a matter of getting more permits. What's well, displacing other it? Shit, though. Hmm? It's just it's displacing it. So like Let's spread it out. Get the fuck out. out of my city. Yeah, yeah. Like, get out of my city. Yeah. Okay, what you doing? Take, this? take, take, <laughs> take your here. drunk and your drugs and your and yeah, don't yeah. come crying to get that shit back though. After a while, don't worry about it. Uh, but the people that they want, you know, like I feel like everybody's going through this uh, this shift of the people that they want in their cities and in their states. That's a problem too, though. But there's really islands even that's kind of changed how it is that they're branding themselves so that they can pull in a certain demographic because they don't want people who are not willing to spend money. So they're making it a little bit more posh or uh, the types of businesses and spas that they're bringing will kind of set a baseline for if you don't have this amount of money to fly here and enjoy these amenities, this island is not for you. So stay in Miami. Well, speaking of Miami, then fuck it then. I'm going to go here and this is just super random as fuck. But in the 70s, Miami was the place to be. A lot lot, lot of drug traffic. Tell Tell us more. Right? (laughs) Yeah. Um. I remember when Scarface came out. I've seen documentaries mm-hmm. about when Scarface came out and how every drug dealer, every every pusher at that time thought it was the illest shit in the world, right? Love Scarface. Shit long as hell. Pause. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Un- unpause. Happy said, Women's said, History play. Month. Play. Yeah. Um, with all that being said, Scarface or fucking New Jack City? <sighs> That I would choose to watch. Yeah. I love Scarface. Better movie. How, however you want to, you know, however you see it. New Jack City. Not even the motherfucking contest. New Jack City. New Jack City. Is That's it, my mom's favorite movie. Is New it Jack because City. New Jack City is the black story? It's relatable. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a thing you can see every day. A Scarface shit is a, it it is no, a little it, sadder, though. It wasn't no black people in, in Scarface. I really think about it. And no. but yeah, black, folks want to rap, black folks want to rap about this shit all the time, though, if, from New York. Scarface like they loved it. Yeah, it was they so, so it. fucking goofy. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a great movie. Uh, it's great acting. Great. I mean, you got Al Pacino. You know what I'm saying? It's great, it's great acting. acting. It's but corny, like, like, it's very very corny. If I had to pick a, pick one, I'm gonna pick New Jack City. Well, I'm gonna do all like this though. Who'd you, who'd you pick? What'd, what'd you pick, Mila? Um, I love Scarface. I'm New Jack. New Jack. All right, fuck all that. I think it's sad. I came across something on the internet. And I thought it was very <laughs> interesting. Nobody knows this, so we just gonna do it off, off the cuff. It's all cool, right, but it's on the internet. So yeah, you don't know it though. 
Oh, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> so what just happened? So it's new today. Uh, it's new All right, today. here we go. New Jack City or Independence Day? As a movie, which one you watching? New Jack. New Jack City. Why? Why? Why are we? What's what? <laughs> New Jack City or Independence Day? Okay, cool. Uh, what's that with Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do New Jack. All right, white man can't jump versus enemy of the state. Ooh. White man can't white jump. White man can't jump. Enemy of the state. What? Easily, bro. Wait, is that with Denzel? This no, Will Smith. Enemy of the state. Okay, white man can't jump. Yeah, a movie about a motherfucker playing street ball to pay his rent. The whole movie. Fuck out my face. That's, that's real. That's <laughs> real. But his ankle fucked up now, bro. Ball is life. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out, bro. So I like Rosie Perez. Perez. Passenger 57 versus Men in Black. Men in Black. Men in Black. It was just a fun movie to watch. Men in Black. It might be for sure. Murder at 1600 versus Bad Boys. Murder at 1600 was crazy. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to pick that. So Murder I'm picking Bad Boys. Bad Boys. <laughs> I, <laughs> love, I, love, I love Martin and Will Smith together. Now, who is, what's what's the 1600? What, what's that? Exactly. There you go. Okay. okay. Cool. There you go. Is it on Tubi? The, the White go, House. What's the White House doing some shit? Not on Tubi. Go watch it. Go watch it. Uh, Blade versus Ali. Blade. Neither. Blade. I'm going I'm, I'm going to watch We're waiting, Mr. Mr. Phillips. Ali. I, I go Blade because I've never seen a movie where black men go around killing white people and, he was and just like, not get away. He was, was busting ass in that movie. He was, huh? I go Blade, but I do love Ali. Money Train versus Pursuit of Happiness. Money Train. <sighs> Pursuit of Happiness, I'm a father. What is Money Train? I'm not a father. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't pick that one. Wait, like, drop my Jennifer Lopez in that movie. Like, wait, Jennifer what? Lopez, Wesley Snipes, you know, they're on the train. It's some dumb shit. It's, that shit was weak as fuck. Okay, the other one. All right. Brooklyn's Finest versus iRobot. Brooklyn's Finest. iRobot. I, I don't know what that is. iRobot. <laughs> U.S. Marshals versus Focus. I don't know what either one of them is. U.S. Marshals is one of them. Oh, my God. What the fuck is Focus? That's he yeah, Exactly. Was, yeah. That's Will Smith when he was with his son, ain't it? Mm -hmm. oh, is this a one, Will one Smith? Uh, and Wesley Snipes. Ain't uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ain't know Wesley right, versus Will like, Smith. Right, okay. I'm like, why is he in all Unstoppable versus Concussion. Concussion. I don't know either one I didn't see Concussion, so I'll go Unstoppable. Demolition Man versus Collateral Damage. Not Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise, collateral damage with Will Smith. Okay? <laughs> Neither. What was the first option? Uh, <laughs> Demolition Man. Ugh, that was kind of trash. Demolition Man was lost alone in, in Wesley. Yeah, that's trash. Rising Sun versus Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was trash as fuck. I like that. Is that I, the one I with the crocodile I hate superhero, man? DC, Mar I hate all that shit. So cool. Whatever. Hater. Boiling Point versus Gemini Man. Boiling Point for sure. You no, should have no, stopped either. at like 2008 no, no. with Will Smith <laughs> movies. Like anything beyond that. I'm no, because just... you got Hancock in there, bro. That's when that come fire. out? 2010? Hancock versus Art of War, yeah. Fire Hancock war, versus who? Art of War. How many movies does this man have? The boy older than us. Too many bad ones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sugar Hill versus After Earth. Sugar Hill. After Earth. After Earth. Is that the one with his son? Yeah. I like that. Y'all ain't watched that shit. Bro. Fan versus I Am Legend. That's it. Who? Fan versus I Am Legend. What is fan? I just pick I Am Legend. I'm Legend. There you I go. know, it says the, I know the name of it. <laughs> were, were both of those Will Smith? It came, the majority on, on uh, social media came down to four or tie. Will Smith had six. Wesley had five. That's tough because yeah. everybody say Will long Smith long. is a great actor. Yeah. Nobody yeah. ever bring up Wesley. Wesley could have had more if the nigga wasn't <laughs> fucked up for, for however many years. I heard so. taxes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. We, <laughs> we was robbed. It's, it's a lot of uh, Spike Lee George. I didn't hear like uh, it was a Jungle Fever. She, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's, yeah, it's, things are missing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think Will Smith overrated as hell. But <laughs> He's hey, a good actor. the man made Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Not a, not a big fan. Yeah, get out, get out. Not a big fan. Get out. Yeah, now limp, get, limp out. Not, yeah, get out. Get not, out. Not, <laughs> not a big fan. <laughs> not, not a big fan. That shit overrated. What's wrong with Fresh Prince though? Bel Air. Uh, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it's. I think it's overrated. Like. I think people because of what though? Now, now we got to real conversation. Because mm -hmm. why is it overrated though? Uh, I don't think it's that funny. Okay, that's a real reason. I think it's, it's written. Kind of I humor. think it's written well. I think it's soft humor. I think it's written well. I think the characters are cool, but I don't think it's as funny as some of the other shows. Like I had a different take about two other shows written by the same guy. This is a is that Benny of, Medina a full blown argument. No, Bill Cosby. The Cosby Show versus a different world. And my point was. The Cosby Show aged better and Different World didn't age as well because the Different World is stuck in a time period of life where issues were relevant in college to people that were learning the oh, world. dressed horribly. And, and, uh, and those issues have been dealt with or addressed. They might not be fixed or solved, but they have been addressed to the point where you have an avenue to go with those issues. The Cosby Show, those are life lessons that still stand, you know, 10 toes down on business to this day. 
I think rela- they argue me down like, no, no, I'm looking like, bro, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you my opinion. I can see but that. The I relationship, think- uh, um, I think, aspect of a different world still has, like, relevancy. Like, watching... Um, Dwayne. Whitley and Dwayne. If that mom would ran down my aisle, bro, and my man's never didn't fuck this dude up, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's over. It's a wrap. Curry, what, bro. What, so what dude asked that too? You got to have to. Whoop all the girls' ass too, though. You you married, married. Go. If a man, Turn shit over. If a man came on <laughs> your <the> wedding day, <laughs> on your wedding day, and was and was trying to get his woman back, what are you doing? How did he even get in there? Mm. I mean, it's that not, part. Mm, come on, that now. Cause I got niggas at the door. <laughs> How, but who we checking niggas? names and all that. You're not here. That's not reserved seat. It's, it's, it's not a party wedding. <laughs> there's no, but there's p- weddings typically do not have security. <laughs> at a at a church? No, this is not. I a got thing. I got my guys standing with me. What are you and, doing? And, and all my guys who didn't make it to stand with me, but they're front row. And, and I they didn't trip ex. the shit out of him. <laughs> Before he got there. But they're in the front world. How they get you up? That man, yeah, he yelled the whole window, remember? <laughs> Willie, I can't let you do this. You my light skin boo. I was like, hey, man. Why you gotta judge your jaw? <laughs> you jaw judge. <laughs> hey, he glasses, came up on his own too. Like, glass, boom. So what? Grandma in the back with the cane. Someone has to ass. end that. Someone has to end that. There's no way. No that way you can That's for you to end, though. Not at my wedding. I shouldn't yeah, have to do I'm that. working right now. You're know busy, okay? <laughs> hey, man, if my man just stands there, I don't know. Y'all, If are... you just leave, then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I would expect, I would expect for my future husband to stop. I don't, I don't, any any other man in there, okay, but if my no. husband doesn't stand in front of me and be like, hey. Why don't you check why, his ass, why, though? Why, why is your ex-husband Ex- Why is, it, why is the up? ex-boyfriend pulling Why you even up? know where this shit at, first exactly. of all? <laughs> well, because, exactly. first of all, I'm exactly. famous. And I'm, I'm famous, and it's in jet. <laughs> we are a couple of the month. We are in he jet. Just, he just running up. <laughs> we talk too much. He's supposed to be like, oh hell no, nah. she ain't she ain't look disgusted. No, she when like I get, she's when excited. I, when, when I get married, it's gonna be so low profile. It's not. I'm no people will not know. But I mean, it was a huge wedding. Everybody knew she was getting married. Where she was getting married, like she was Whitley. So, so, it definitely so that, was means, that means that means Whitley was having conversations mm. with this man. That doesn't mean that. Yeah, it absolutely means that. Who else, who else told you? It absolutely means that they went to he college came, together. He came by Why himself solo dolo because you didn't piss Everybody me off. Everybody else was at the wedding. <laughs> exactly. All their friends were at the wedding. Oh, I remember he did have an invite. He he did an invite, but he gave it to uh, Ron. He gave it to Ron. And Ron was like, all right, he ain't want her no more. He went, so he shouldn't have been. He should yeah. be able to get in anyway. He didn't have invite to get in. He bum rushed that bitch. Who uses invites to get into the wedding? That doesn't happen. Earth? Wedding crashes. When what what wedding have you gone to and they please show your invitation? Oh, all of them. Your okay. name better uh, be on this list. That's a lie. You yeah. know that's a lie. Your oh. name better your be name. on this list. You can get this that's plate. At the, that's at the, uh, at the uh, reception. reception. At the reception. If the reception is at the same place as the wedding and you're already seated where the food is, I can see where because they're seating. There's right. a seating chart. But if it's two locations and it's a wedding, people are like, are you with the bride or the groom? Who paid for the, the wedding? Though? Side. Didn't the senator pay for the wedding in a uh, different world? Didn't the husband pay for the wedding? Husband, the was supposed to be husband, the uh, the fiance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember that. He fucked up the money and everything, bro. It was down. Somebody got married that day. Somebody, huh, you, <laughs> come come up here. <laughs> we we doing this. I'd be so embarrassed. We doing this. Yeah. I do, do y'all have any guilty pleasures that y'all watch on TV or read or like just anything weird like that? Because. Mm. I, I have one I feel like I just need to tell the world. You watching P-Valley or something? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of dudes got snaked into watching it. They got Snake addicted. Like, oh, yeah, wait. P-Valley P- P- was cold the first Snake season. It was dope. Second. It was dope. Only but, the first season. But uh, Love is Blind is my shit. I've never Love, seen that. Love is Blind is my shit. My girl be watching that shit. So yeah. I, I be sitting there cussing them niggas it's out. A, it's a female know, show? So, yeah, what yeah, is yeah, it? Right. They, they did one in Chicago like wait, wait, season two or three. It's a female show, right? 100%. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm just saying. 100%. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's a relationship uh, <laughs> reality show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'll be watching. My girl, she be watching this shit. And I, I get roped into it. And but what be is mad. it? Be mad. Is somebody blind? It's, 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 uh, it's a, I don't know. It's like men and women, They it's kind of like a blind date, but like you're in pods. But it's not blind people. Not no. this time, no. No. Maybe okay. next season. But uh, Steve Wonder did that's yeah. on TLC. They got something like that on TLC. TLC yeah. called Braille is, Love. It's fucked up. <laughs> Braille me to rail me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Braille me to rail me is sick. We're, we'll explain to you later, Kels. <laughs> they sitting in pod. They never see each other until like me, another baby. month. They talk. Oh, oh, that's what this show. Okay, I never knew the name. Yeah. And they, they can't see each other. Until but they, they all meet. And what kind of the show that had people back to back talking? <laughs> uh, it's an old dating show. It was the dating game? Not making the bands. So you get catfished. Uh, in your the face. game was on that shit one time. Uh, and that, chick- was, that was some dating game shit. That's hilarious. One person was, had was three it called options. the dating game. 
It wasn't close. Love it. Love connection. Love, love connection. connection. I would love to do a love connection with a Bossy and McKenna. And it would be like three women, and then they had to ask questions, and then like they had to oh. pick one. I'm Jose. What was pregnant. that third name you said? What the second name? McKenna. That's not him. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not like, <laughs> And it's not you. You, you, you know what? <laughs> you got different name. Right? <laughs> I don't know something. That's okay. <laughs> tell me something. I don't know. Tell me something. Like, that would see, be fun. Take, take, taking it back that far, pause, to the love connection and dating game. You know what I'm saying? He got, he, he got his pause honored. You know what I'm saying? You honored his pause. <laughs> In my head, I don't know why hey, I was thinking about that. That was gross, man. That was fucking, that was nasty. Taking it back is nasty. <laughs> Wait, it, how? Taking it back? Like, women don't need to say pause. Like, I don't get it. Women say pause, it's like, you don't need to say that. Like, you, you brought up. It's like, I mean, I was standing right behind them. It's like, come on, bro. You just can't say that. <laughs> you just can't say that. <laughs> <it. laughs> the older we get, the more I'm we look back. Yeah, I'm like, I was, I was giving it to them. Like, you just can't say that. The older we get, the more we look back. Yeah, I was, I was giving it to them yesterday. Like, come on. You just can't yeah, say yeah, these yeah. things. You gotta oh pause stuff. I was on his ass, bro. Like, come on. So it's so funny because there's certain generations of men that don't like that. They're like, all right, we don't do what all that. What the fuck they gonna shit. do with me? They gonna, they gonna fight us? I come across right dudes who be like, hey, I don't do the pause game. I'm yeah. like, hey, bro, that's cool for you. That's but fine. it's like a thing <laughs> now. Are you gonna fight, fight over you, you gonna fight <laughs> this shit then? But it's, it's literally <laughs> like a thing now. Like I was like, okay, like this is what y'all do. It's, all right, let me let me ask y'all this. Do y'all do y'all care about Shannon Sharp? Because Shannon's been going viral. <laughs> we're, going, we're going the total wine for this <laughs> <laughs> He can't even going breathe. Going the total wine for this <laughs> <Skip. laughs> so, He held in that truck there. So, so, <laughs> right. so, so there's Y'all a viral, viral yeah. moment. Uh, <laughs> hey, he, he, hop, he hops out the truck, you know what I mean? Sassily. And, and his pea green uh, cat suit. <laughs> pea right? green is disgusting. <laughs> And it's more like a ivy, an aged ivy. Aged oh. ivy. Is cool. Olive. It's olive. With cool. The, with the caution orange. Uh, <laughs> it was like Miami, of University of Miami colors, right? For sh- exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's not he from went? there. No, he no. went from there. Yeah. He nah. went to Savannah State. I know a little State. something. <laughs> he went to Savannah State. He from rural Georgia. Why y'all? Um, so he went, he went to do skip. a bottle signing, basically, you know, to promote his liquor. And this shit went viral, right? <laughs> And you that know, still frames was nasty. Man. And that was hard. That was a video, that and they caught him in the middle it's the, of the It's the movement. still pictures right. that's yeah, fucked the up. The video right. is all right. The, the video is safe, man. The still pictures is what caught him because he's like, so horrible. his hips fucked up from playing football and shit and having surgery. Uh. So he just standing there on the picture. Like, uh, our Chicago <laughs> brother roasted him to the moon, bro. Yeah, that shit. Oh my god, he called the man a, a, freaky a freaky turtle, <laughs> a freaky turtle crocodile. That was stupid. It's say like you got your knees hit by a. A revolver door at an abandoned mall. I say, hold on, Joe. <laughs> Chicago roasts are painful. It's painful. Look, it's painful. at the end of the day, y'all, oh my y'all, God, bro. y'all making this man way more money. He oh don't, he God, don't give a fuck. Right? I, I hate that argument, though. Yeah, I, I do. I hate that. Tell me why. Tell me why. Because it's like that don't matter. Like it don't he, matter. It, that's uh, not what we talking about. Like. We like you. Like we like Shannon Sharp. That's how you but know we like is, you. But the shit is funny. It's like funny. I get it. He don't think it's funny because he be pissed off at the <laughs> shit. But like, and people be calling him gay. And he be all like, I get it. Too. He be cause come on, Ocho. And Ocho be like, hold on, now stay with me now. And then the hey, shit just keep. O- good. Ocho's the great hot man. man. Ocho, though, be great, bro. Ocho, hey, look, look. <laughs> if you fuck with me and you support me. You gotta have Ocho energy. Ocho is great. Bro. Ocho has the best rebel. He be like, no, it's okay, man. Now what they say again? <laughs> man, they, they don't care. He get out, he be like, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna see what you doing. Everybody need a friend like Ocho. I love Chad, bro. But I, I played football in high school. No matter like, how I old you Chad. are, that was like my alter ego, like Ocho, Ocho? Cinco. Like, no matter how old you are, like we're tired. I can imagine, like you, like you tell me not to look at the comments. Like I, I can imagine, like being, it is. Painful, I love reading y'all man. comments. You did Giggle before, monster, though. I'm still coming for you. Like every, <laughs> Giggle monster. I think Giggle about monster? you every day. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what you. I'm like, what do you do for what a living? They, you hurt say? people's feelings for a living. So it was a clip that went viral, right? And <laughs> I think was that the one where I asked you, like, is it okay to post? Is that was that? No, one? it was. Uh, we were. Uh, we asked something about it was marriage. Oh, like, oh, the yeah. one with Chuck. Yeah, yeah, and I was I was laughing because we were talking. It was some funny stuff like we were talking about, and I laughed, and she was like, "I wish Giggle Monster would take things more seriously." <laughs> I was like, "You're a Giggle Monster." <laughs> <laughs> Stinking! I, I was so upset. Uh, Clearly, it still bothers so, me. Uh, Kiki, Cro- Kiki Crocodile. Kiki 
crocodile would take me out. Okay, that was that was, that was <laughs> I'm wild. I'm in a corner. I love okay. reading y'all comments. That so if y'all fun. was in Shay Sharp position though, right? Like, and Ma was like just drumming y'all with the, with the zesty remarks and the you know alternative lifestyle shit. You know, I think y'all would be cool. Or what it gets you? Because like you, you said, words do hurt, man. You know what I'm saying? He got a, he got daughters. You know, he got peers and shit. They start looking at him like you know people. People are, people's minds are fickle. Yeah. They get second guess. Yeah. Even though they knew you their whole fucking life, they get the second guess. You like, bro, what you hiding from? You like, fam, it's yeah. me. We yeah. fought the same bitch, bro. <laughs> that <laughs> like, means nothing. Yeah. Like that, it, that, it means a lot. That might, we from the same dude. But depends the same on the, the time the frame in between. <laughs> it's a lot that happens when you're the not same looking. We might. No, so I think studies have shown like stereotypes. Sometimes you can start to take on the energy of them. Right, like, and not purposefully, but that you are living. You turn so every, hard to rebel yeah, against and it, like everybody is. else saying these things about you, it just becomes true, even when it's not true. Yeah, that's social that's, media. Yeah, mm-hmm. which because and and I don't like cyberbullying, and so what's the difference between roasting, right, and we making fun of and cyberbullying? Everything. Uh, I think it's a consensual roasting. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. What my phone, bro? Like roasting, I think is consensual. Like, hmm. like we we, we, roast, we roast each other. Like you know I'm saying, like you talking shit, I'm gonna say some shit back. Like that's cool. But if you just every day, like Miss Giggles or whatever, malicious. Like, it's thank just, you for cleaning it up, Miss <laughs> Giggles. Ms. Now, I'm not calling you Miss like Giggles. That. I'm saying oh, the lady well. in the comments. that's definitely a stripper name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the that's the difference. Like one is consensual. Like I'm agreeing that we roasting each other versus oh. you just bashing me. I think Man. one can be spontaneous, or one can be spontaneous. And be thought out like to have a, a roast of somebody. Mm-hmm. One is just like intentionally malicious. Yeah, you know. And okay. I don't want to be funny. I want to hurt you. Right. Yeah. You I don't think this like people making fun of the videos, doing like the reenactments. I don't think that's cyberbullying. Okay. I think, think they're just making fun of the moment. So not him in particular. So what is it about us uh, and and like trying to speculate who somebody is having sex with? Like why are we? It's twenty twenty four. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, but it's weird that we're still trying to like we're no. using that as a nope. as a as a stick to poke. Can let y'all get off with that, bro? Because I'm asking why. Like, why are we still like with the? Because this you're gay, is, you're this, not gay. This world is still built on race, money, and and sexuality. Well, because now with all these platforms and and these media platforms, we have. You are opening doors and gateways to your life, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not. You're opening yourself up. So now people get uh, more nosy or nosier, and they want to know more and know more. So now your business is our business. Your business is out there now. So if I want to know about you, if you posting shit, if you're posting things, you want me to know about you, your fashion, your style, what you eat, what you drink, and people just do math for no reason. People do math when they shouldn't do math. They start putting it together. Oh, mm-hmm. he likes seafood, and she likes seafood, and... And one little skirt, she must be a bad bitch. Bro, what, how the fuck do it even make sense? You know, but bad bitches do like seafood, aka Fuchsia, you know what I'm saying? That's just, it's, it's lying. That shit was great, by the way. But people start wanting to know more, five. and they get, they get to assume things. People are nosy and maliciously nosy, which I, I can't even put that together, but it makes sense. They're maliciously nosy and want to know something and get the scoop before anybody else does. You talk so fast. I have to Thank watch you. your mouth you move. Zooming. <laughs> I, All right, what I did think you the drink? What's in your cup? Zooming. Think and the, so, uh, do, you, do, you think the, do you think the gay comments stop when people say, I'm gay? No, I think I think the, you know it normally I mean? don't happen like that though. It, but I'm saying like if somebody comes out as like now I'm getting it now it does it turn into like look at look at Usher for example. Everybody know Usher was a baby with Diddy, but one thing Usher never did was he didn't respond to none of the, the gay shit. He didn't. When you respond to it, it makes people think that you know like uh oh it must be something to it because respond it, it it's, it's bothering him. It's it struck a, a nerve. Hit sword. dog holler. This this that they want the bad. I hate that. Usher didn't say Hit a dogs word. Dogs actually do holler. Yeah, I used to get whooped around the shoulder. I holler. I ain't no dog. But when you see something, say something. It's like, it's so it's so confusing. And when we respond, it gives people fuel. When you don't say shit, I think it goes away. Oh. I yeah. think the rumor started because he was like with his like stylist, like floor <laughs> seats at the Lakers game, like every other day and shit. And like his stylist at the time was a young gay black dude. And I'm sure, I'm sure he's still gay. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. was, <laughs> not just not just that day. Like. I mean, uh, who knows? You know, <laughs> prayer changes. Thing, you know? <laughs> we don't know. But, Unbelievable. <laughs> we don't know, but like, allegedly, it's just like, damn, you, what's going on? What's that dude? I'm not who's gay no more. Oh, like, I'm not gay no more. Who the, who the fuck name. actually cares? Like all that shit don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Like to I'm, you, yeah, to me. You, you don't like to TMZ me. shit either, though. Which I think is a, a farce. I think you just don't like certain aspects of TMZ. But he don't like that he's not TMZ. That's what it is. <laughs> that could be it. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't want that energy either. At the end of the day, fuck out my business. What I present to you is what I want you to see. We don't... was presented with 
the gay stylist sitting next to him courtside. We but were why? presented with that. I'm not saying that that's that's cool or right or, or right. Thank you. But so are I'm y'all uncomfortable that. with having a, a somebody close Kenny to you? Pants right now. No, 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 no. So. Um, <laughs> Do you all manage who's around you based on what they look like? So if there is, if you have a homie who is gay, are you are you not sitting next to him? Are you not taking photos? No, with I'm him? not doing that. Is, I no. think uh, like most people are friends because you have uh, similarities or things in common, right? Most mo- most of the time, obviously, you might have a white if you're friend, real friends, whatever, yeah. but like your close friends, like y'all have we, something that links y'all together, right? A commonality. So it's like. I have friends that are gay, but we probably won't be at the game together every week. Gay people don't like basketball or something? I don't know what they like. <laughs> but they're I'm still people. Like I'm so this so so They are still people, but it's just But do you we, do you feel we, like you change how it is that you invite and rock with your people based on how you think you'll be perceived? So if people you do, do that though. People do that. Some people do, yeah. So yeah. so like my brother, right, my oldest brother, he would go to the to the gay pride shit, right? Mm-hmm. He's nowhere near gay. But his 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 friend gay, right? He was going in support of, of him. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, I'm a I'm a young 25. Like, bro, I'm not going. Like, we're friends, but I'm not going to that. Right. Right? That's your choice. Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't know how I'm gonna be perceived. And yeah. his his response to me was, I'm not gay. I don't give a fuck. I'm supporting my friend. I, I understand that too. So I get it. So would you go to gay pride parade? Mm-hmm. Nah, because in my experience, that shit gets just as wild as every other party. You get a bunch of alcohol and, and bad behavior together. He is same shit. Hi, he is highly uh, sought after. Okay, who is you? you. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> don't act. Don't act. Yeah, don't yeah, no, like you didn't have your flag, bro. Let's not do that. You are you are attractive to uh to to all. <laughs> I'm some like dogs even like try and run up <laughs> on you. You know. Hey man, this episode oh 188, God, man. That was the very end, huh? Y'all some assholes. <laughs> That was some assholes, man. What else you got coming up? What man, you tell us about on? the goddamn tour. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> Truth Teller tour. Shout out to the uh, the merchandise. Uh, so, just got back from Orlando. Uh, I got a few gigs. I got. Uh, I'm at Urban Lux Cafe next Saturday. That's in South Shore. Do we need Shore. discount? Okay, that's in South Shore. Then the week after that, uh, I'm at Riddles on the 20th, uh, and then I do my monthly Corner Classic show at Riddles on the 24th. That's what mm-hmm. I got the billboard for. Shout out to Patty for the billboard. Shout out Patty. Uh, the bill. Then I'm in Columbus next month on the 20th. 6th through the 28th. Uh, yeah, so that's what's what's popping right now. So be a good time. Well, 188, we out. Where my shit at? Yeah, you know I mean that was a long pause in twenty. Yeah, don't worry about that. It's called editing. Editing. <laughs> hey Brandy. We are downtrodden. We are denied. I want some chicken. So the only way to talk to us. That was a real word.